good afternoon from KL. I'm at the airport, the KL airport, and uh, I'm actually flying out to the Penang Island. Um, it's an island in the north side of uh, Malaysia, and um, <clears throat> really excited to go because I've heard really great things about Penang. And um, so I chose to fly because the flight only actually takes about uh, less than an hour. It's like a 45 minute flight. So I was like, either I take a three hour train, uh, eight hour bus, or a uh, one hour flight. So, and, and you wouldn't imagine how much I got this flight for. I paid 75 ringgit, which is actually a total of, if you put that in USD, it's about $16 for a flight, um, which is pretty amazing. Um, flying on an airline called Melindo Airlines. It's a local airline. Um, and yeah, I mean, 16 bucks, can't go wrong with that. So I wanted to show you guys what the airline looks like. But yeah, I'm currently at the airport, just uh, walking to my gate. This airport's a very nice airport, actually. Um, one of the nicer airports I've been to. But yeah, uh, so I just wanted to check in and tell you guys that I'm on the way there. And then when I'm getting into the airplane I'll show you guys what it looks like and what you get for 16 bucks and uh, yeah I'll check in with you guys then all right guys so I'm about to board my flight for Penang this is what the plane looks like so apparently they don't call it Melindo anymore and now it's Batik, Batik Air Malaysia, Batik Airlines, something like that. So that's the plane. And I will show you what the inside looks like and what you get for $16. Mind you, it's a one hour flight, so it's not too bad. This is what it looks like. You have three rows on each side. And I'm sitting in 15A. So it's actually very clean. The seats are pretty spacious for what you pay. So, just uh, landed in Penang. This is the airport. It's the Penang International Airport. Um, for a $16 flight, I have to say, that was very comfortable. 
I mean, it was only like a 40 minute flight, but it was a good experience. The AC worked well because it was hot, so the AC worked. The seat was pretty comfortable and I didn't have anybody sitting next to me, so that was, uh, that was nice to have it to myself. And um, yeah, it was uh, smooth and we got here safely, so that's what matters. And yeah, so I'm in the Penang Airport and I am going to now go find a, get a, get a taxi and then um, make my way over to the hotel, which I'll show you guys as well in this video. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an idea of you know how conveniently it is to fly here um, and how cheap it could be. Um, honestly, my air my taxi to the airport this morning uh to fly from kl to here cost me just about as much as my airline ticket did so just imagine <laughs> um yeah back home it's we don't really have budget airlines like that so for me it's quite impressive but yeah uh, i'm gonna get out of this airport and then yeah but the vibe here in penang uh just from the windows looks awesome <laughs> just from what i saw through the window looks great we're on an island so got those island vibes but yeah look forward to showing you guys this this uh, island and then um, yeah I'll show you the hotel uh, once we get there so I'll check in with you then all right guys so just got the taxi I am in the taxi now on my way to the hotel and this is a slight view of Penang, Penang Island this whole area is called Penang Island, right? Uh, Payang Lepas, Penang Island, yeah. Payang Lepas. Okay. And the area which you're taking, the hotel is uh, Georgetown, Georgetown, right? Georgetown. Georgetown, yeah. So yeah, we're on our way to Georgetown area, which is uh, approximately about 20 minutes away from the airport. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Maybe. With, with traffic. <laughs> so, but yeah, guys, this is how it looks. I will show you more once we get there. I'll show you once we get to the hotel. Alrighty guys, so just arrived at the hotel. Um, this is the view from the street here. Love these uh, old buildings here. Definitely get a island vibe here. But super excited to finally be here. The name of this hotel is Urban H Hotel. And it's probably one of the nicer hotels that I'm staying at. I'll give you guys like an outside view so you can see what the hotel looks like. So, pretty big hotel. It's probably one of the nicer hotels that I'm staying at uh, on my trip to Malaysia. Though I'm supposed to be on a budget, um, I decided, you know, coming to Georgetown, let me book something nice. But this one's still not costing me too much. It's uh, around $36 a night, uh, if I calculate it. Hey, how are you? So this is uh, the inside. Is this the Urban H? Urban H, okay. Yeah, the hotel. Okay, this is the check-in. So this is uh, what the hallway looks like. Yeah. And I think they have a coffee shop downstairs. There's a coffee shop, right? Very nice. Some nice art on the wall. And then this is the check-in desk, the Urban H. It's actually a very nice, very nice hallway. They got some plants here, a nice seating area. Uh, hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? <laughs> You're just getting back from break, huh? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm just checking in. Checking in. Yeah, you need my passport, right? Yes. Okay. guys so I'm gonna do this check-in process so uh, this hotel has a, a pool or does this hotel have a pool no, no pool but it has a gym right it has a gym, yes. where's the gym, the gym at level, two. level two okay very nice thank you 
So yeah, this is the seating area. And then if you come down this way, um, oh, this is where the elevator area is. And then down here they have a, a coffee shop, which I'll definitely be coming to in the morning. It's closed at this time. It closes at 5 p.m. Oh, but it's closed on Mondays. Okay, that's why it's closed. But yeah, very nice, huge coffee shop. Great place to get some work done, right in the hotel. It's perfect, because usually I've been looking for uh, coffee shops, but they have one right here in the hotel. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this uh, check-in process, and then once I'm done, I'll show you guys the room and the gym area and everything like that. What's going on, man? All right, guys, so I'm checked in, and um, I am on level two, which is the same level, that the gym is on so that is perfect because i don't even have to walk or go anywhere to go to the gym and so level two and we will be on our way so far it's a very very nice hotel but um yeah you get what you pay for that's what i'm learning you know um you pay seven dollars a night you get seven dollars worth you pay fifteen dollars a night you get fifteen dollars worth this one like i told you i'm paying about thirty six dollars a night and you could definitely see the difference so far so i treated myself on this one so here's the hallway so, as you can see very nice very nicely designed very chic and boutique Alrighty, so i am room two what am i two let's see i forgot already um Jeez, where's my card? Come on, Meyer. Oh, here we go. I am room 217. Alrighty, so let's go to room 217. Oh, I like the way these uh, numbers are. They're like on a light. Yeah, wow, very nice. Oh, they even have escalators that come up to this floor. Oh, here's room 217. Beautiful. I like the artwork in the hallway. I like the way the the whole design, the lighting, everything is very uh, boutique. Alrighty, so card. Oh, card fell out. Alrighty, so there we are, and welcome. Put the card in the door. Oh wow, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful room. It's the first time I'm having a place to just put your bag down, which is really nice. Got a, uh, all right. So I'm gonna show you guys the room first. Oh wow, great place to do work too. Nice big desk. All right, so let's close this door. And let me show you guys what we got here. All right, very nice. Um, I'm on the second floor, so not super high. Um, so they give you like a, a nice safe where you can put things. And then a mini fridge as well, where you can put some fruit or water, wherever. They give you some drinking waters, some instant coffee, thing to boil, some teacups, and shelves. Good amount of shelving and everything. And then... You got the bathroom. Oh, hold on, let me not forget. Of course, you got the mirror, full stand-up mirror so you can see how you look. And then the bathroom, which is also very nice. Well, as you guys may know, if you've been watching my videos, the most important thing to me is cleanliness. And so far, this place looks very clean from the lobby all the way up. And so here is the bathroom. Beautifully designed, I love the gray. Um, I love when things are aesthetically designed with the, the gray undertones. Um, the sink, very nice body washes. They give you two of each, conditioners, shampoos, lotion, soap. Oh, they give you dental kits as well, which a lot of the other hotels did not give me. Shower cap, vanity kits, I don't need those, but you get the shower mat here 
and the toilet which is also very nice very clean and of course they give you a gun to wash your butt oh i think you have to turn it on there you go good amount of pressure and then the shower very tall shower which is nice and it's got a hanging head but you can also take it out if you want to let's see beautiful good amount of pressure and then oh nice so they give you I, this one has a window <laughs> the first hotel that I'm staying in that has a window uh, the other ones that I've been booking have been pretty cheap and usually if you don't pay if you pay less you get uh, no window so this is nice you get a large window here you can actually even open more if I wanted to and I don't really have much of a view of anything but it's a uh, it's decent you know I don't need much of a view actually which is nice I'm not on the road the main road um, I'm on the back back side of the hotel so I won't be hearing cars passing by it during the day and yeah pretty nice guys pretty nice I have to say you got these two uh, side tables on each side and you have uh, these lamps so if you want to read at night and they give you a nice chair to sit on let's test the chair out oh it's nice it's like a it's like a planet chair just sit down and relax here they have an AC which is nice be using that for sure and then the bed which is uh standard queen size i think let's test the bed out oh yeah that's nice oh yeah that's very nice very comfortable yeah guys you get what you pay for um that's the lesson i'm learning i mean i've known that for a long time but you know um sometimes you have to be taught that lesson again and again until you realize like yeah it's the truth what is this some sort of oh nice you can set the temperature from here nice oh that turns on the AC very nice beautiful all right cool all right so let's go check out the gym it's on this floor here somewhere but yeah guys um, just the overall view of the room it's a beautiful beautiful hotel $36 a night you can't go wrong with that and I'm in Penang Island guys I'm so excited uh, by the way if my tone or I don't seem as excited as I usually am um, I'm trust me I'm excited it's just I'm still battling this flu that I've had for the last few days and if you've seen my last video I talked about it um, so I'm still kind of battling that and so it's just like it's really taking a toll on my overall um, mental well-being to be honest it's tough for me to make these videos um, I haven't made too many since I've been feeling this way so you know uh, forgive me if, if my excitement or um, my tone is not where it usually is it's just unfortunately I'm just I'm just not there but yeah um, hopefully I'll be back soon um, to where I usually am and, and the morale will be back up again but you know um, Health is wealth, guys. You know, if you're not feeling good, nothing is good. Doesn't matter where you are in the world. Doesn't matter what dream you're pursuing or what life you're living or um, how much money you have or um, what hotel you're staying at or what food you're eating. Do nothing matters if you're not feeling good. So make sure you take care of yourselves. But yeah, this is the gym, guys. Um, so you scan your card, you come in. They have a nice big mirror here if you want to do like some sort of um, aerobics or Pilates I think they might run a class here even it looks like um, and then oh wow as soon as you walk in all the lights turn on and it's a pretty pretty big gym here they got some nice uh, treadmills here and got a few elliptical machines a cycling a few cycle machines Yes, as you guys know, I love the pull-up bar, and they do have a pull-up bar. And uh, this looks like a squatting bar. 
um, a bench here, a few dumbbells, not super heavy ones, but you know, enough, enough to get a good workout in. It's pretty, pretty hot in here, but um, to be honest with you, I like the gym hot um, because you really do break a sweat and um, <clears throat> you know, you really feel like you accomplished something. And what's really nice is when you're working out, you got a nice little view here, you know, of uh, Penang Island, guys. Look at that, amazing. Already loving this place, guys. Already loving it. I'm here for a week. Um, gonna be able to explore the whole island and show you guys the foods, the sights to see, and um, just try to give you an overall vibe of what Penang Island is like or this area is specifically known as Georgetown. And um, this area actually was at one point uh, colonized or, or taken over by the British. And so a lot of the architecture here uh, looks like old uh, British colonial architecture. So I'll definitely show you guys that stuff as well. Um, but yeah, you know, I hope I, I feel better soon. I really just want to get to a point where I, my, right now my temperature is like all over the place. And it, I think it's harder to, to fight the fever here because, you know, it's like up and down and up and down. So I just been kind of like, you know, just my temperature has been high and then low and then high and then low. And like anytime I thought I was starting to feel better, I start to feel like, you know, crap again. So I'm just like, it's just really getting to me. But i um, trying to stay in good spirits, trying to stay positive. Um, but yeah, it definitely makes it a lot tougher to do these vlogs when I'm not, you know, 100%. So just trying to rest up and, and get healthy so I can get back to uh, work and, and doing these, doing what I love. So, but yeah, guys, this is the Urban H Hotel. Um, beautiful hotel for $36 a night. Awesome gym. And I'm definitely going to use it once I'm feeling good again. So, yeah. Showed you guys Melindo Airlines as well. That was uh, $16 for a flight. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? But, yeah, guys. Uh, I'm going to end this one here. And remember, continue to grow. Continue to learn. And there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.